we have the chairwoman of iwn cii nandini sarkar uh, hi nandini welcome welcome to the session yes and we have anupama co chair gracing the occasion today hi anupama thanks for joining hi yes and we have um great participants and this session is going on uh, live on facebook and youtube welcome dear participants for today's session thanks thank you so much for joining and i, I know how uh, like on a weekend uh, this how is the you know uh, time schedules will be thank you so much for joining here and let's begin with a quick introduction about iwn and cii IWN India's Women Network was launched in the year 2013 in Karnataka with the clear vision of advancing the equity of women by enabling and empowering professional growth and success through advocacy, education, networking, coaching, mentoring and skill development opportunities. All IWN chapters work closely with the government to enable policy and decision making at a state level to support their purpose. advancing with an inclusive mindset touching lives livelihood growth along with pivoting around sdg partnerships of 3 5 and 8 iwn is open to aspiring women achievers from diverse backgrounds including working professionals leaders entrepreneurs and students iwn karnataka focuses on the following tracks to achieve their purpose those are leadership pillar gender parity policy and advocacy health and well being corporate membership engagement corporate membership engagement mentorship and campus to career and today's session is exclusively by health and well being pillar of iwn cii iwn karnataka regularly organizes networking events and forums including an annual summit to share best practices to address challenges and opportunities that impact women at large now let's begin it's time for fitness uh, to know anything and everything about the functional fitness and the stress i request our moderator sheta mittal to take over and lead the session a quick intro about uh, our beloved moderator and co convener of health bill, health and well being pillar uh, sheta mittal is the founder of health brand called and me simplifying women's health and me is india's first women health brand with a variety of products to support menstrual health beauty fitness and overall health over to you sheta thank thank you so much pushpa for the lovely introduction and i'm very very excited to introduce today's panelist vanita show uh, vanita is the ambassador of india's fit india movement as pushpa said but she is also a speaker a media presenter a fitness coach a youth icon a motivational speaker a author and a lifestyle motivator she is a recipient of many national and international awards for community services including nada kampe goda and karnataka ratna shri award and also the iconic women leader of the decade in women's health and more she is popularly known as the bangalore fitness queen get fit india is her mission which she initiated 17 years ago and she is leaving no stone unturned to get our country fit and healthy she writes a weekly column in vijay karnataka publication she has released two home workout dvds and has authored a bilingual fitness book called you have an excuse i have an exercise love the title vanita in today's session i'll be talking to vanita about exercise movement and stress and we'll be also doing a lot of easy exercises together so if you don't have do get a water bottle chair and the patta along with you because we're going to sprinkle a lot of exercises along the way needless to say movement and exercise is vanita's middle name we could not have done justice to this session if we did not start with any movement over to you vanita to get us moving vanita you're on mute yeah please unmute yourself ah, yes All right, it's so lovely to see all you people out there, the busy, busy people, all right, who have made time to attend today's session, and it already shows you care about yourself, and that is so important, okay? And uh, well, so 
Well, the number one excuse people give me, why you don't exercise? Uh, I don't exercise because I don't have time. Or you say, kahani hai. like because of corona lockdown and uh, you know uh, pandemic situation, last year and this year, no mate, and most of the work was done by you and you consider that as exercise, right? But it isn't exercise. It's, it's actually a stress. Because you, if you're a right-sider, you'll be doing only right-sided workout. What about your left hand? Your left hand didn't do all those things, right? Jadu and all that stuff. It didn't do it. So where is the balance? You're overusing it. Okay, you're overusing this. And very soon, there will be aches and pains. So that is a compromise. So let us quickly get into an exercise, which is a secret exercise. You can have 100 people around you and nobody will know. I'm going to teach you two exercises. This is not going to make you thin. This is going to make you, uh, you know, uh, your core strong, protects lower back pain, and also tones your butt. Okay, can we do that? Let's start with our abs. Pull your belly in. Pull your belly in. Tighten the core muscles here. Tighten them. I shouldn't see that kind of action. No, relax. It's a secret exercise. Nobody knows. Pull your stomach in. I'm having a conversation, I'm breathing normally, but my stomach is pulled there. It's called a vacuum pose. Go ahead. Talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, 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 do. Your stomach is contracted. Release. Release. Feel that? So this exercise, do any number of times throughout the day, whenever you remember. And this is very good for your midsection, your core, and it also helps prevent low back pain. That is very, very common these days. Okay, shoulder pain, tennis elbow, frozen shoulder, spondylitis, lower back pain. These and knee pain. Okay, these are very, very common, and of late it is just uh, increasing. The cases are increasing because we are leading a sedentary life to a larger extent, okay? We are just seated, working from home, for hours together we are there, and you know that story. And even our outing has come down. At least some activity we would get. That has also come down. And we forget to take breaks because we need a mechanical life. So I want you to take constant breaks every now and then so that you will get improve your blood circulation and prevent stiff muscles and joints. So what are you going to do for that? Any idea? I still have a butt cheek workout left, okay? Secret exercise, nobody knows, <laughs> okay? So what you are going to do is while you're sitting, you're gonna roll your shoulders. Roll your shoulders, good. Reverse it, good. Now, shoulder elevation, depression. Now, first of all, I want you to open your shoulders, okay? Shoulder blades back, chest open, okay? Good, because we are always like this, we're doing the reverse of that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, almost there. Six, come on, try it out. Seven and eight, good. So that is the opposite of what we always do. Your chest muscles are constricted, okay? Your breathing is constricted because of this position and we are opening it out. Okay, let's come back to secret exercise number two. So your butt cheeks, squeeze them. Secret, nobody knows. Secret, squeeze your butt cheeks. Squeeze it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, release. Feel that? One more time. We are tightening our butt muscles, okay? Your butt is, oh, oh she has got a nice butt. It's not only for that. You need it for standing, sitting, walking, keep standing, trying the stairs, running. Okay, you need every muscle in your body. Your face itself has almost about 50 muscles, 50 muscles, small, small muscles, 50 of them. And with age, these muscles go away, all right? Once those muscles go away, your wrinkles start showing up. What will the skin hold on to? So do you know the human anatomy? This is your skeletal system. Over your skeletal system is your muscle. Over the muscle is the fat. Okay, whenever you do strength training exercise, it's the muscle that is working and not the fat. All right, if I am moving my hand, it's not my fat, it's my muscle which is making me lift my hand. So when you lose muscles, then you know this becomes very difficult. Also, your metabolism comes down and your strength comes down, endurance comes down, and all of this is compromised. So please use it. Otherwise, you will lose it. 
So when is the time that you start losing these muscles? Any idea? When are you, I mean, there is a time, right? We are programmed to shut down. When could be the time that we are losing this muscle? Just show. This is 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. How many years? 40? No. 23. From the time you are 23 years old, the muscles go away from your body. And every year we lose about 200 to 300 grams of muscles. Muscle sarcopenia. It's age related. It happens naturally. The body gets rid of 200 to 300 grams of muscles. So what happens? Your metabolism comes down. And by the time you touch 40 or I know and menopause settles in, it is so difficult to lose weight. I know a lot of women out there must be, I relate to that. Yes, it's happening to me. You know what? I'm eating lots lesser than before. I'm working out more, but then the weight doesn't budge because you don't have muscles. From the time you take 23 years to from the time you reach 40 years, you would have reached, you would have lost about five kgs of muscles. Lean muscle mass. You are made up of muscles and that muscles are going away. So what do you do? Use it, okay? Don't give me an excuse that you do not have time. You gotta use it, all right? So only when you use it, you get to keep these muscles and the muscles is equal to strength. Muscles is equal to, uh, you know, uh, a, a protection. It's like a shock absorber. When you have muscles, it protects the internal organs and any shock, it absorbs. It, it is loaded with water. Muscles are made up of water. And also it protects your internal organs and any injury. And it gives you power, strength, everything. When you look at a youngster, say about 20 years, I'm not talking about this zamana 20 years, I'm talking about Purana zamana 20 years, and they elude, you know, fitness levels, strength. When you look at them, ah, they're young. That's why they're so strong, fit, and, you know, agile, sleek, or whatever, okay, powerful. You feel that, right? Because they have muscles. When you look at an 80-year-old who doesn't exercise, what would you say? Oh, that person is old. That's why, you know. But actually, you know what? You have received a lot of WhatsApp followers showing people who are 100, 108, 90, 80, exercising in the gym. They look amazing. Recently on social media, on uh, Instagram, I shared about Sharad Saxena. He is 79, I think, 79 or something. And he still acts in the movies and you should see his body. Amazing muscles, amazing muscles. You know, he is my motivation now. I went and met my uh, two, uh, uh, you know, my one particular inspiration. I traveled all the way to US in 2019 to celebrate her uh, 100th birthday. Okay, I'm so glad I did that because she passed away in 2020 January. Okay, she, is world's, she was the world's oldest yoga teacher, Tao Minch Paro. You can Google her. So I also have met my other inspirations who are all like, you know, uh, in the 90s and 100s. So the other person is Salu Marata Timaka, and she's 107 years old and she's an environment activist. Okay, I have another inspiration who is 98 years old, uh, Nanumal Ammaji. She is India's oldest yoga teacher. So are they giving any excuses? Are they still in action? What is the reason? Muscles. So how many of you want to keep climbing the success ladder? Keep going, keep going, you know. Oh, this is not enough. I want to achieve more. That is the way it should be though. Okay, that is the way it should be though. But then your health should not be the reason. Oh, I would have, but I gave up because my health, you know, I was not able to cope with my health issues. I had lots of knee pain, lower back pain, and you know, I couldn't go to the office. So I had to give up, you know, otherwise I would have done better. I would have done wonders, okay? Who wants to be there? Who wants to be here where, you know, you I don't know, uh, what is age? I have no complaints, I'm fine. I can go on and on and on and on. Who wants to be there? So it's to be here, you need dedication. You need to do something. You just cannot, it just doesn't pop up. You cannot buy it. You have to exercise. So just put your hands up. I can't see many in this styles. How many of you exercise? Religious. Others, I need your autograph. Those who didn't put up your hands, I need your autograph. I want to know how you want to survive without exercise. Okay, fine. So in exercise, in exercise, we have three components. Cardiorespiratory exercises, strength training, and flexibility exercises. Cardiorespiratory should be done on everyday basis if weight loss is your goal. If you are on weight management and you want to, uh, if you're very skinny, 
then you will do you know about 30 minutes weekly two to three times that's it okay it should be non intermittent so your housework is intermittent there is a stop there is a break and plus it's not structured your right hand if you're a right hander your right hand is working but the left hand is not working okay supposing we are doing the uh, jadu for the you know uh, cobwebs so only this hand is working what about this hand this didn't even go up where is the mobility so keep all this in mind and it, even if you do the housework you need to do structured workouts your well rounded fitness should consist of cardio strength and flexibility so cardio respiratory exercises should be done for 40 minutes to 60 minutes which is built gradually and not like hey what did i say 40 minutes tomorrow i will walk for 40 minutes no you will give up your body is not ready mentally you're ready but body is not ready that's why people hate exercising because they find it as painful you know oh exercise no i don't want to do that you know i don't like it and you give yourself step mother new treatment to exercises because you push yourself to uh too much too soon so build it gradually start with 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 40 60 over a period of time and increase your pace so okay that is for weight loss so most people look for weight loss so let me focus on weight loss then weekly two sessions of total body strength training using your own body weight like in yoga and pilates and also using external resistance like what about your dumbbells dupatta towel and any of those things so how many of you all want to do a dupatta workout or a towel workout or a jacket workout come on you're working on a shoulder the most important joint of a body you want to you have it ready do you have it ready or not the patta hai <laughs> one of them has it awesome shwe is ready all right we got to get it <laughs> so we're going to start now okay let me get the dupatta from there stand up Okay, so that's your dupatta. Okay, hold it sideways. Hold it sideways. Pull it. You're gonna create resistance. If you feel your dupatta is too long, you can cut it short. Okay, cut. Uh, fold it into half. All right, and you're gonna lift up, down, two, down, bring up. Three. Pull the dupatta sideways. Create resistance. It should not be like this. Create resistance. Let's go. Four down. Five down. Six down. Seven down. Last time down. People are full of excuses. They like you know. Oh, I don't have dumbbells. You know, pandemic time. I can't pick up dumbbells from anywhere. So you know they give up. So I say okay fine. Grab a dupatta towel jacket and I'll make you do the same exercise. In fact, this is very very challenging. Okay, so you don't have a dupatta. Fine. Let us do without a dupatta a shoulder workout. Will also engage the other muscles in and around your shoulder. Extend your hands in front of you. Extend your hands in front of you. I want a, a quarter plate or a half plate rotation. Okay, there is no pulse right now, and elbows should be soft. It should not be hyper extended. And neck down. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reverse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Good job. Feel it? Did you say hello to all these muscles here? Okay. So we have problem areas. All of us have problem areas. You know, your model you saw in the magazine and said, "Wow, she's got a great body, great face, great skin, great hair." You all know it, she doesn't have any of those things. She herself hates herself. Okay, and she's like, "Oh wow, I'm looking so nice in the magazine because it's all Photoshop." Nobody is perfect. Okay, you went and told somebody who you think is perfect, say, "Oh wow, you're so perfect." Immediately they say, "No, no, I have little stomach. No, no, I have little cheeks." So nobody is happy. Okay. Acceptance is very important. So you be realistic. This is my bone, okay? My bone is here, and a little after that, I have muscles here. That's it. I cannot expect myself to be this much because I saw the model being this much. Oh, she's so thin. I want to be this this thin. How can I? What are, what will I do with my frame? I can't do anything. The Indians are big, big, big. So you have to accept it, especially over the hip. All right? That is a frame. Also, accept it. 
And what are other parts where you can work on? What is that? Facts. You know, work on fat. You know, and also work on building it, uh, building muscles. Look sleeker, slimmer, sculpted, chiseled. Okay, when people look at you, that person is so fit. Hey, uh, you know, people who don't know anything about me, when they meet me, they say, are you an athlete? Are you from a fitness background? Because they see it. Okay, okay, I am from a fitness background, but there are people who don't, oh, who don't even teach but attend classes who look like athletes. So it's because of their training. Please don't overexercise. Please don't undereat in the name of uh, you know losing weight. And uh, also don't run. I don't promote running at all. It's bad for your heels, your knees, and you know even if you're running, it should be done under training. Okay, and running is not the answer to lose weight at all. It's this one. Okay. 70% of your weight loss comes from your diet, 30 from your exercise. And your exercise routine should be complete. Cardiorespiratory, strength training, and flexibility. So we're going to do one more exercise, okay? This time, water bottle. Even if you have one, it's okay. Even if you have one water bottle, fine. The water bottle should be filled with water. I'm just going to put this whole thing at the back so that you can see my movement. Okay? Good. All right, here. So I have two, but I'm going to show one. Okay, one. Go. Two. Just fall parallel to the to your own body. <laughs> Keep going. Four. Keep going. Five. Six. Seven. Eight and hold. Hold it. Hold it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, shift. Change sides. Go. Eight, seven, six, five. Feel this? Four, three, two. This side, go down and hold it. Hold it. Eight. So six, five, four, three, two, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. You're sitting and doing this, okay? You can stand and also do the same thing. You're talking about functional fitness. Why functional fitness? It relates to your everyday activity. So it improves the quality of your life and prevents injuries. What is your everyday activity like? It moves in many, many planes. If you have a baby child or if you're in a shop for something, you carry it from here. That's an action. From this plane to this plane. You want to keep it up there. There's a rotation and you keep it up there. Right? We move in many planes. And somebody calls us and we turn. So, have you seen that ooh, ah, ouch advertisement? Ooh, something else. Ah, ouch. All this happens because your muscles are uh, not there as well as your flexibility is very, very low. Okay? Now, here is a functional movement. You're going to go down. If you have shoulder problem, I want you to lift only this much. If you have shoulder problem or any, any uh, related area here. If you do not have shoulder problem, you're going to take it up here. See, there is a rotation there and rotation here and bring it down. Okay? Give me four more on this side. I can see only a few people because of the frame. So be careful. Don't be over enthusiastic. Whenever you train, you should not use speed or momentum. This time, lift it up and hold it there. 10, 9, 8, so 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch. This way. Ready? 5, 6, 7, go. Down, up, up, rotation, go. 2, down, up, rotation, go. 3, take it up, up. Down, go. Four, rotation, rotation, rotation. Last time, stay it up. Rotation and hold it. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and down. So we have problem areas. Like I was telling you, everybody has problem areas. So those who are here sitting on a chair without wheels, if you have wheels, lock them. Lock them, okay? Cross the right leg over the left. Cross the right leg over the left. And just go forward. Lean forward. And profiling, just lean forward. 
Okay, feel the nice gluteal stretch here. Lower back stretch, gluteal stretch. Okay, all of us have, <coughs> excuse me, problem areas. This is one of the problem areas where it sags. Okay, muscles gone. Okay, muscles gone. Sags. Because there's only fat and no muscles. The muscles is equal to tony, firmness. Okay, think about a little girl and an old lady or an old man. Right, there's a lot of difference. So you need to keep those muscles. So problem area, problem area, problem area, okay? Problem area, but problem area, double chin. There is no spot reduction, okay? When you strength train, it is overall weight loss. Cardiorespiratory strength training, uh, you know, a balanced diet, stress management, and along with that, good quality sleep is together with consistency is equal to weight loss. You didn't gain weight overnight. So don't expect to lose weight overnight. It requires consistency and commitment. Over a period of time, you will definitely see a change. And the weight loss uh, that happens is overall. You cannot dictate terms to your body. Hey, I have a big tummy. I want the fat to go from here. Try telling your body that. Let us see if it listens. It doesn't. Okay? But unfortunately, if you mismanage your calories and lead a sedentary lifestyle, then automatically your stomach, only your stomach keeps growing. Okay, and then it goes to the other problem area. Why? Because of fat cells. So we have fat cells deposited, uh, you know, by birth, genetically taken from our parents or maternal aunt or uncle. And uh, you know, everybody seems to be having genetically only here. Or okay, even the thinnest of a person, when they gain weight, it's only the stomach that pops up. Okay, unfortunately, not many of us have it here. All right. So what do you do if it's fat cells? It's going to be there. You have to understand about fat cells. Fat cells, think about a balloon with water, okay? And exercise and uh, diet is happening. So same thing, remove some water from there, okay? Fat is going, going, going. Balloon, fat inside. So it goes, 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 goes. And finally, balloon has become like that. Then, oh, I lost weight. I don't have time. Uh, okay, I think I've reached my goal. I don't have to exercise anymore. Eat unhealthy, don't exercise. And all that again goes there because the cell is right there. It again gets filled up. That's why there is no permanent weight loss. It's an ongoing thing. But once you get into your weight management stage, you can go a little easy. All of us are humans. All of us want to eat. 80% of the time, eat healthy. 20% indulge in moderation. Remember that. Okay? Don't become a, a yogi or what should I say, a, a total, you know, give up everything. Don't give up on everything. You will become a rebel. You will become a rebel and then you will quickly want, you, you know, you will very soon start pouncing on food out of frustration. So don't do that, okay? So uh, make one change at a time and then you can gradually, uh, you know, become, it becomes a habit. Like four coffees can be cut down to three. And the sugar, you know, if you're adding sugar, cut it down. Coffee is not going to do you any good at all. Okay, forget all the green coffee, uh, bullet coffee. None of those will make you lose weight. Just reduce this. All right? Do follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of tips on, uh, you know, uh, these kind of tips on weight loss, diet, exercise, movement, and, uh, you know, sleep and all those kind of things. There's so much, like 2,000 posts on my Instagram. You can dig down. At any time, there are a lot of people who have lost weight by just following my tips, as in reading, applying it, and you know, they have seen changes. So, and people remember constantly, okay, Vanita had said this on, uh, you know, her post, yeah, I think I will make a change, those kind of things, okay? So, uh, also, you know, I've been in this industry for 18, this is my 18th year, and I started this when I was 36 years old, 36, I was 36. And both my children were in school, like, uh, you know, almost high school. And I uh, have lots of time and I have a natural flair towards aerobics. And uh, when I did my certification, when I was 36 years old, I was like, you know, I learned so much from my first certification. And I also, so-called educated, also thought back then what exercise is about losing weight. It's about getting fit, getting strong. That's it. Nothing more. Okay. Uh, back then, there was not much information about exercise. Uh, and the health thing was not much attached, okay? And when I learned it there, then I, I said, I must share this with the world, with my country, and get my country fit, strong, and healthy. And I myself was doing wrong exercises. I did over cardio. 
So oh, when you do over cardio, uh, you overdo your cardio, you will lose out on muscles and your metabolism comes down. Okay. And osteoporosis is something that we all ladies, you know, should be aware of. And we could get it possibly if we do not take care of ourselves. You know about vitamin D, you know about calcium, and you should also know about weight-bearing exercises which prevent osteoporosis. Osteoporosis could be either genetic or could settle down with uh, menopause. Okay, menopause leads to various problems. So I reached menopause when I was 50. Now I'm 54. Okay, but I'm not blaming menopause. I'm not blaming uh, uh, gaining weight from menopause, uh, lack of uh, energy, nothing. Because I've been working on it for years now and it's never too late to start. It's never too late to start. And please start now, today. Make sure that your life is like, uh, you know, smooth sailing. Okay, you're still doing what you love to do and you're still be able to climb the success ladder. You should be still able to do your housework, office work and enjoy or uh, your time with your family or party. And then you should be disease free. You should be independent of being dependent on somebody and you shouldn't need diapers. You will not need a nurse. You will not need a walking stick or wheelchair. That should be the goal. Forget weight loss. Leave weight loss alone. So I am doing this for this many reasons. I want to lead a life of dignity. All I have to do is give one hour for this to happen, to achieve this many things. Possible? Yeah? Motivated? So will you give me an excuse ever not to exercise? No. One day you skip an exercise or one day you eat an unhealthy meal. Doesn't matter. Humans. What that? To err is human. Okay? It doesn't matter. For all those people who type that. Yeah. Okay, now again, again, we have a tendency to do this. Relax your shoulders and then breathe out. Push. In a nice stretch, hold that stretch. I want to show you here. So the stretch happens all over here. It's very good for people who type. Okay. Stay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and take it up. 10, 9, 8, 7. Can you see that? 5, 4, 3, 2, and down. So if you have a chair with the backrest, hold it. Hold the backrest and lean forward. Lean forward. Your hands are along the middle and lengthen. Ready? Stay there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and down. Good. So you don't do your <coughs> own exercises like oh YouTube they clear, hot star they clear, Tata Sky they clear. And I think my God, abs the problem. The abs the problem here. You can't keep on doing your ab exercises. Your muscles should work for forty eight hours, and your fitness program should be uh, your, your fitness routine should be programmed, structured. You just cannot do whatever you want. Okay? Please don't do it. I neither promote six packs. Not size zero, not body breathing. I don't. Okay, I don't really support, support supplements. Just go back to your roots. Go back to your ancestors. How did they eat? How did they live? What did they do? They led a beautiful life, which, which is a benchmark for us food effort too. Only Indians, huh? <laughs> Only Indians led a life like that. They went to farming, housework, less gadgets, or no gadgets, and they didn't have house help. And uh, it was not a platform cooking, it was on the floor, and they had to draw water from the wells, wash the clothes, they went to the farm, baby here, water here. All that was weight bearing exercises. You need your bones density. You see that Papsi Pono's advertisement, right? Uh, somebody's trying to do show so far, and this, uh, they cannot push. And Papsi Pono says, bone density come with a up, public speed, right? So something like some, promo, some production promotes, okay? Bone density, that's the word I want you to hear. You want the bone density to be built. It's not just for calcium and vitamin D. You have to do a weight bearing exercise. So I'm from a fitness uh, you know, professional. I turned into a fitness activist. And then again, I uh, turned into a fitness educator. All these three things I do parallelly because the so-called educated people are overdoing the exercises. They are like killing themselves with workouts. It's fit, high intensity workouts and crossfit and you know running like a mad dog or um, running is anywhere for horses not for us okay <clears throat> why are they doing things like that and ruining their joints you're placing stress on your body 
when you place so much stress on your body, cortisol hormones is released in your body and it makes it impossible to lose weight. Okay, you're stressing your body. So please do not do that. Just an enjoyable workout. You play some music and dance away. Play a sport with your, and your friend, partner, whoever. Racket sport. How do you play um, uh, badminton? How do you play? You do that? No. Unpredictable. You don't know where it is coming from. You sweep like that. You push like that. Right? It's a skill. All these are skills. Many things are happening at the same time. Focus, concentration, agility, speed, power, and motor muscular integrity, balance, and coordination. All these things are happening together. All these things are required to live a life, you know, beautiful life. Okay? Uh, where the quality of a life is enhanced. Okay? You can't buy this. You can't get it with walking. You can't get it with yoga. You need to work on it. So, work on your skills. So, as you grow older, we lose this. We lose this. Okay? And so, you need to keep it. How do you keep it? By doing uh, activities which involve those things. So, sports or structured aerobic classes. Okay? Zumba occasionally. I don't promote Zumba because Zumba again has overnight trainers. Any of you can become Zumba trainers tomorrow without knowing the exercise physiology of a body or uh, you don't know how the anatomy of, work, of your body or biomechanics. So just, just a, that person is good at dance and tomorrow she becomes a trainer. So don't do that, okay? So uh, you have to go to a recognized, certified instructor and work out. Don't pay to get injured. Do not pay to get injured. And supplements not needed at all. However, I take supplements. Because of menopause, I have developed uh, intolerance towards lactose. Any dairy product, I cannot have. Why? Because my stomach bloats. The minute I have it, my stomach bloats. I gave up on all, all foods, especially now from past one week, all foods have given up. Because again, it's high carbs. I'm having a problem. I bloat. I don't have any other problem. I'm only because I'm bloating, I'm not having it. Okay? Otherwise, I used, I used just one week ago, I gave up. So otherwise, I used to have papaya and all that before two o'clock before two o'clock, okay? And I also gave up on gluten and, um, and eggs. They're giving me bloat. So if you are somebody who's going through menopause and bloating, I want you to study, <coughs> maintain a food diary and do an elimination diet. Give up one food at a time and see. These are the common things, okay? These are the common things. So if you are bloating, okay? Whenever you're bloating, then you will know immediately. You will know immediately that is the culprit and remove it, eradicate from your diet. So do that, okay? It's very important we do that. And because low self-esteem is something that we suffer a little bit as we, uh, you know, step into menopause because of any of those crazy hormones which act like Hitler, <laughs> okay? And do that. And there's many things I want you to do. And uh, we have only one place to live in. We have to take care of it, right? Where else will we go to enjoy life? All that hard on money that you are, you know, forgetting your family, not giving that much attention. I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me finish this mail. Then I come, okay? They're so busy. You know, there's a set standard of goals to reach and deadlines and all that. You are chasing that and you're forgetting to exercise. Oh no, what are you talking? Exercise, come on, forget it. I don't even have time to breathe. Well, well I understand. But then what happens? Eventually, you know, you'll have stiff muscles, stiff joints, and you'll be neglecting your diet, you're not eating on time, you're not consuming enough water, and you know, exercise, lack of exercise is directly equal to, you know, inviting trouble, uh, health, uh, you know, complications, and all those things happen. Then all the hard-earned money will directly go into diagnostic centers, consultation, medication, again repeated, and you know, you'll find little relief, only a little relief, okay? Again, you're back to cycle one. So instead, just as a preventive care, invest one hour of your time into exercise and you can, you don't even have to see those things. And all the money, hard on money, only you can enjoy. You will be able to enjoy. You will have a beautiful life. Right? When is it that you get angry with your family and lose your food? When? When you're unable to cope up housework, kitchen work, okay? And uh, you're shopping for the house. Luckily, we don't have outings, thank God. <laughs> right? And then, you know, all this put together and, you know, uh, cooking and all this stuff. You are like, by the end of the day, you're also like, I can't do anything. Shut up! You know, I don't want you to get on, you're getting on my nerves. And all that things will happen. 
Why? Because you're not able to cope it. How do you like, you know, do all these things and end of the day like, ha 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 with your family? Black out, <laughs> okay? So whatever you, you were doing, uh, you know, for half an hour, you can do it in 10 minutes and finish it off. That is the power of strength. That, why don't you type strength on your WhatsApp? It shows like this, okay? Work on that. You need to work on that. Okay. Shwe, I didn't even give you time to ask me one question. <laughs> No, I absolutely loved it. I mean, I think everyone was engaged and I loved it. I'm just going to ask a couple of questions that people have been asking. Um, mm -hmm. The first question there is, you know, I mean, you did mention the difficult area, problem areas for women. And one of those is definitely triceps, right? And you mentioned triceps and, our, uh, you know, the stomach. Could you mention simple exercises that women can do for each of our problem areas? Yeah, but then you can't keep doing the same exercise because your body gets used to it and your body will know what is coming. So in the in the initially you will see a change, but after that, your body and the whole muscles will realize, ah, I know this exercise, you'll be doing forever. And all of your muscles go to sleep, you have to surprise your body, okay? You need to lose weight. So here we go. Water bottle. Take your hand up. Okay, elbow flexion. Your upper arm should be close to your ears, okay? Upper arm close to your ears. Elbow flexion, extension. Elbow flexion, extension. Elbow flexion, extension. But if you have shoulder problem, that, that particular workout will not suit you. That is why you need a certified trainer who will give you a modification, even if you are in a group class. Can we do that? You've got to balance it. If you did 10 times here, you need to do 10 times here to balance out and strength and tonic. Upper arm close to your ears, elbow flexion, extension. Flexion, extension. Flexion, extension. Flexion, extension. Flexion, extension. So now again, when you're doing this, you know, there shouldn't be speed, there shouldn't be uh, hyperextension, it should be a controlled movement, your posture should be good, and all those things. This is very simple sitting on the chair. Chest. Press your hands. Press them. Again, shoulders down. Breathe out. Press your hands together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Press 4, 3, 2. Take it up. 1. Down. Keep it pressed. 2. Relax your shoulders. Down. Three, down, four, down, last one, five, and down, good. So I was talking about supplements. The only supplement that I have because I am off all these things, dairy products, is something that is made from peas and brown rice, okay? It's from Ozevia. It's available on uh, uh, Amazon, and it gives me about 30 grams of protein because I'm a vegetarian also. So I need my protein apart from millets and uh, you know I don't have any other source of millets and of course broccoli, peas and all that. I have to have this 30 grams. How much protein do you have? One gram per kg body weight. Okay my weight is 61 kgs. 61 and don't ever step on weighing scale as a okay. Well when you're doing strength training especially don't even check. Body doesn't have just fat. It has bones. It has bodily fluids. It has internal organs. It has skin. It has hair. Skin is the largest organ in the body. And you also have muscles and bones. You have to think about it, right? So you have a BMI done to know exactly how much you have. How much fat you have, how much bones you have, how much uh, you know, uh, muscles you have. You know what? I'm 61 kgs and my muscle mass is 48 kgs. I have 48 kgs of muscle mass. So if I am a fitness tracker and go to sleep from 12 o'clock, when I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, I would have already burned 700 calories. I was sleeping. How did this happen? My muscles. So because of my metabolism, it was burning even when I was resting. So remember that. This is the only way to lose weight and the right way. Okay? So you know the steps. Perfect. Uh, with the one, I'm moving, I just want to cover the last topic here, which was stress. 
in the last uh, one year, stress has become a topic that all of us have been talking. And I think the problem that happens is we all know we are stressed. It's just that sometimes we don't realize that we have stress. I yes. recently read somewhere that, you know what, if you find yourself, your tongue is pressing against the roof of your mouth, it means that you are stressed. And if you relax, the stress goes away. Could you talk about simple exercises that, you know, we can do uh, to recognize stress and to just elevate it as we're sitting on a chair working on something and just, you know, go on. Oh, stress is even deeper. Some people like my post, but she liked her post. Stress. <laughs> okay. I am waiting for somebody to like. I have posted half an hour ago. What happened? Stress. Okay, earlier driving in this, you know, traffic, then the traffic was stressful. All right. Everything becomes stressful if you take it to your heart. Okay? Pandemic or no pandemic. Forever. Remember, don't take it to our heart and this too shall pass and learn from the situation. Don't allow stress to get you because stress can lead to lifestyle disease and it can never make you lose weight. You only will gain weight because we'll end up eating out of frustration. Okay? It's a feel-good factor when to eat unhealthy food when you are stressed. It lifts up your spirit. Okay, when you're stressed, I can't give you a tomato salad and say, have this, your stress will come down. No, you're, you're bad or I want samosa to feel good. Okay, that's how you feel. So you have to change your mindset. And the best way to release stress is pranayama. And uh, you can also do deep breathing exercises. We'll do box breathing right now. Box, okay. I will be able to count for you. Four inhalation, four holding. Four exhalation, four do nothing. Your lungs are empty, but do nothing. Okay, once more. Four counts, inhalation, four counts, holding the breath, four counts, exhalation, four counts, doing nothing with lungs being empty. Can we start that? I'm going to count. Ready? Four, three, two, one, four, three, Two, exhale, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, down, good. And this, you, you each one breathe, a breathing pattern or lung capacity is different. So you do it at your own count, okay? Don't rush it or don't drag it. So do this many times in a day and uh, you know the counting 10 also works. When you're angry, counting 10 works. Drink water and we have a tendency to store stress in two places. One is here and one is here. So it is known. Stress is either here, we place it here or here. So relax, relax, open up, breathe. All right, practice this box uh, breathing which is the easiest of all. You don't have to think much. Okay, do that. And uh, talk to somebody, don't store your stress in them, and talk to somebody and get it out of your system. All right. If it is still not, you're know, still not being able to handle it, then you have to meet the counselor and get it out. Okay. But everything is, I think, you know, uh, tribal when it comes to your health. So we detached, we detached to that. Got it. One question, Marita, going back to the earlier one where we talked about muscles. So it became very clear that how important it is for us to have muscles, not just because, uh, you know, we, we would be healthy, but improve metabolism, losing weight. The problem that happens, though, is that there's a conceived notion that if women do strength exercises, we start building muscles like men. And hence, there's a solid aversion of us even lifting weights. What do you tell to those women? Because it's very oh, clear am. after hearing you. That we why, all am I not, why am I not looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Why am I not looking like that? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not looking like a bodybuilder. I've been doing it for years now, decades now. The kind of training that we do is very, very different. We work on lean muscle mass. So if you think, you know, okay, uh, strength training, weight training, resistance training is something that we women should not be doing, then I want you to think about these, again, go back to times, go back to farmers, go back to people who drew water from the well, got water from the river to the house, carried their babies and not the nannies, they themselves carrying them, the water here. Think about all that, sleeping, mopping, you know, squatting and mopping the floor. We didn't have this kind of mop, okay? Cloth, kapawala mop, and cooking on the floor. All those activities were strength training activities. So we are mimicking the same here in the gym. 
So you have to do it. So even the bodybuilders, okay, who, who build up, bulk up, you know, the amount of circus that they do to get there, that is dedication. Though they don't do cardio at all. If you see the flexibility is poor, cardiovascular, uh, you know, uh, system is very poor. Cardiorespiratory system is very, uh, to work your cardiorespiratory system is very important. Any cardio exercise. Because it improves the efficiency of your heart. Your heart, what is the primary function of your heart? To pump out oxygenated blood. Okay? So, it takes, uh, depends on your fitness level and age. So, it takes about uh, 67 to 102, depending on your age. Beats to pump out the blood. So, if you are exercising, doing cardiorespiratory exercises, your heart becomes strong. And it works less amount of time to do the same amount of work. So your number of beats come down. That means your heart will be not overused. So that's why cardiovascular uh, exercises are very important. These guys don't do that. They only strength train. They pick heavy weights. They wear belts here, belts here, you know, and grippers and lift up. We don't want. Okay, we do light weight, light weight exercises. We either use our body weight or we do external resistance like shooting or dumbbells and we work on the number of repetitions they do, the sets that they do for the same exercise is very different from us. We cannot become like that. They also don't become like that. That is why we have supplements. That is why we have steroids. That is why they have fat burners. They take all this and over a year or two, then they get that body, desired body. Okay? And all of us have six packs, by the way. It is generously covered with fat. Once you get rid of the fat, your six packs will be seen. Ha, but then, ha, durki bat. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Thank God we are inside. Once this pandemic is over, you will be invited right and left in the right, left and center to functions and every function will end up in gym, okay? But curtail that, curtail that, think hair, <laughs> think hair, okay? That will happen. Nice. One a last question, Aveta, is uh, people, if someone's getting started, I think that's a usual question. How many days should I exercise? And what should be? You talked about, you know, the, how to separate cardio, strength, and respiratory. But if someone's just getting started, what would you advise that person to do? Yeah, go easy, okay? Go easy and don't push yourself. And, uh, you know, I see a lot of gym trainers, first day of this uh, client, okay? And they're saying, come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. That person cannot do it. You know, they've never worked out in their life. And they've been pushed. Tomorrow, day after, they will not come and very soon they'll give excuses and vanish from the gym. Okay? You, you have to wait for them. Even if somebody comes into my online classes, I have two strength training classes. Okay? Evening and morning batches I have. I never push them. I allow them to work out at their own pace. Okay? I tell them, it's okay. If you did 10 repetitions, good. You can stop and walk around. Okay? And as they keep doing, they become stronger and adaptation happens. There's something called fit principle. Frequency, intensity, interval, and time. Okay? So you start uh, the number of days you exercise, frequency. So like you know, weekly, you started with two days, then start up with three days, four days. Everything is gradual. Then intensity. You were walking like this, then you, you know, walk a little more uh, faster. Then variation. You went uphill one day, you go down. I take walking as a because it's the simplest exercise. Okay? Change the, you know, the rules. Then, uh, then you increase, like you're using dumbbells. If you started with two kgs, increase it to two and a half, then gradually to three. Okay? That's all. And I don't even like these women who post crazy exercises, which is like, you know, everybody's like, wow, but what is the function of that exercise? Nothing. Nothing at all. Six pack has no function. Size zero has no function. Bodybuilding has no function. And all those crazy exercises have no function. None of these are... You know, it doesn't define fitness. It's not useful to our body. Nice. Lovely. Vaida, thank you so, so much for the session. Uh, there was a question that came in which said, do you offer uh, regular fitness programs that someone in audiences can join? Because I feel like so many of us are now inspired to do yeah, so. Yeah, I know. Guess what? <laughs> Inspiration doesn't last. Motivation doesn't last. Okay, you read it on everyday basis. So please follow me on Instagram and I'm always there motivating you guys. And I do offer uh, strength training classes which I recently started because it was strength training is something that is missing and everybody gives it, you know, that, you know, that says stepmother be three men. And I want to bring in more awareness and even if you went to the gynecologist, your gynecologist will tell you the same. Build your bone density, build your muscles, 
the you know if you went with menopause he's in there you know what i'm gaining weight you start weight training you will see a change that is what your doctor will say okay and uh, this is on monday and friday i have it 6 a.m and again i have it on wednesday and friday at now i have a class at uh, 5:30 p.m okay you can write to me you can reach out to me on instagram or facebook uh, i will send you the details okay it's done on zoom this class is done on zoom and i charge only 1000 rupees for uh, weekly i mean sorry monthly uh, eight classes and i structure and program like today's class you know for my 5:30 batch i will just uh, read it out to you okay so this is what i'm doing today so i am i'll be talking i'll be doing chair strength and stretches and then i will be doing dumbbells for upper body strength along with abs it's a compound exercise and then i will be doing lower back strength and chest chest flexibility exercises these are this is the program for today it's structure so i make sure that i cover everything that is required okay i feel like the questions don't stop coming so literally one final question before i hand it over for the closing uh what is being talked about stress what is the ideal time for someone uh for sleep ideally for someone who's around 50 years how many hours should they sleep for sleep sleep when you are 50 year old sleep is challenged <laughs> especially menopause you know your sleep becomes very like it is very difficult to fall asleep so i was also a candidate of that plus my screen time is like really really high because everything happens here online okay so uh, you know go off if that is your case scenario go off uh, you all know about it, uh, the the race so it could be your phone it could be your tv to read something uh, sit for halki ka doon and dim the lights in your room and do everybody 50 or whatever age you need about 7 to 8 hours of sleep when you sleep your central nervous system focuses on repairing at the cellular level and it has all the time because the other senses are not required sight hearing taste sound talk touch all this is not active when we are sleeping so the central nervous system is got all the time and energy to focus on repairing yourself at cellular level that is why it is called beauty sleep i don't know why people compromise on beauty sleep right so no powers are going to help you if you do not eat properly or sleep properly let's say Thank you so so much, Vanita. I honestly feel so honored to have spoken to you today. One of the most interactive sessions we've had it so far. I'm going to hand it over now to Anupama, who is the vice chairman of CII IWN Karnataka. She is also the managing partner at AVRC Legal and Dr. Kent Associates. Uh, over to you, uh, Anupama, for the closing remarks. Thank you, Sheta. Uh, what a wonderful session, and this session is so close to my heart. Uh, in the last decade it is the pandemic that made me pause from my regimes and vanita today your session motivated me and ensured that i don't give it up in the future your tips on the secret exercises like vacuum pose and the shocking re revelation on starting to lose muscles at 23 i think all of this is for keeps and i'm sure the audience had a lot to take away as our convener for the health and well being panel has said physical fitness is the first step towards ensuring a person's good health and well-being and vanita has just laid a solid foundation for all of us a sincere gratitude and appreciation to miss vanita for having not only spared her valuable time but also her knowledge and expertise to enrich us thank you once again This is just the first of the series of sessions from the health and well-being pillar that has been planned for CIA and its members to lead each one of us over here to the road of health, good health and well-being. I look forward to many more such sessions that will be coming our way. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank CIA Iwin Health and Well-being panel led by its convener Pushpa Lata for not only leading her pillar excellently but also for having come up with programs that are sure to make a difference we thank the co-convener of the health and well-being panel and the moderator sheta for having done a wonderful job sheta we know that when we have you as a moderator you will lead an excellent conversation our thanks to anu jigisha sujata and smriti 
who are a part of the extended task force of the health and well-being panel and have contributed greatly towards the cause. We extend our thanks to CII Iwin Secretariat and in particular to Ms. Julen, who has supported us in all our endeavors. And last, but the most important, the chairperson of Iwin, Ms. Nandini Sarkar, whose inspiring leadership ensures the best from her team members. A heartfelt thanks to all the members who have attended this program today. You are an important part of making any program a success and we look forward to your continued support. Have a great evening, stay safe and see you all soon. Oh, thank you so much, Anupama, Vanita. It was really fantastic uh, session. Uh, uh, Vanita, as usual, like every time when I see you take this session, I met you a couple of times in Iron Lady, one time in Iron Lady um, uh, session, yes. and then uh, sometimes in uh, Kowe, I, I met you in Kowe, uh, you know, Fit India Movement Initiative. So I get so energized when I see you and really hats off to you. The energy you carry is really infectious. So you are a real role, role model for all of us here. Thank you so much for this uh, power pack session. Thank you. It, it, it really means a lot. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. And take it guys, one body. And if you lose it right, you don't need to live, be born again. Okay, enjoy life. But to enjoy life, we need health. Okay. And also, we all know this guy. Health is wealth. But what are you doing? Wealth is being Think about it. Okay. I'm going to sign off. You take care. Have a great evening. And best to all you guys all. You can reach out to me on Instagram. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Pushpa. Yeah, thank you. Bye, bye. Bye.